Hey guys, good morning. How are you today? Heather here at Purgatory Farms and I hope that everyone is having a great summer, having a great gardening season. Um, I hope everyone's plants are doing really well. I hope everyone is enjoying their summer. And before it starts to rain, I just want to give you guys a quick rundown of one of our gardens that we planted this year. So we usually have our main garden, which houses all of our green beans, all of our carrots, radishes, and everything else in there. So this year we decided we wanted to expand a little bit. So in this area behind me, we decided we were going to do yellow squash, some melon, some butternut squash, some pumpkins, and also some corn. Um, so a couple of things we've never done before. Um, first, we've never done melon. Uh, we haven't done pumpkins and corn. So those three were huge for us this summer. So first I want to show you our yellow squash plant that is doing really well. So what we did with all of them, the squash, the melon, the pumpkins, and the butternut squash, is we did two mounds um, side by side. Um, and then we just dug three little holes and we put three seeds per hole. So all together we did 18 seeds. So here's our yellow squash. That's doing really good. It has some really nice flowers on it. This second one um, started off doing good. One of the stems kind of broke, but thankfully kind of rehealed itself um, and is doing really well. Our second mound we did was melons and I'm so excited so I wasn't really sure how they were gonna do they started growing really slow and late but we finally have some watermelons growing so that's the biggest one right there and then we have a couple of little guys growing so there's a couple right there that are a little bit smaller but definitely starting to grow. The melons actually took the longest to grow. Um, I'm not sure if that's common, um, but compared to everything else, they were kind of like a late grower for us. And unfortunately, the butternut squash and the melons are starting to invade, so we've been having to kind of bring out some of these vines to kind of like bring them into the yard a little bit. Um, as you can see, the pumpkin vines are, are pretty far into the yard. But we're getting some good butternut squash here. We've gotten a couple around the edges. I'm actually a little worried about some of the ones that are on the edges because the deer have made their appearance and have started to eat some of the vines that are kind of like off onto the side. And then you can really see one of our big mistakes was we put the butternut squash and the pumpkins next to each other because apparently we didn't think that far ahead. And now they are just competing with each other. So that's one thing that we would have to change for next year. I'm thinking that we have the squash the pumpkins over here and I think we'll have to change them with the yellow squash to give them a little bit more room but here's a look at our pumpkin here's one pumpkin there but I'm surprised that the deer which I'm not complaining about haven't really eaten anything that's too far off pretty much they've just been nipping at like the bottom of the vines and here's a couple of pumpkins that are growing. They got some nice color on them now. So yeah, so next year we're going to have to rethink a little bit of our placement um, of where we're going to put the butternut squash and the pumpkins. I'm thinking of moving them to the front where the yellow squash is. So we'll put the pumpkins in front to give them a little bit more room so when their vines start really growing, they have room to really grow in the front of them and onto the sides. Um, so we'll probably put like the, I don't know, We'll probably put the pumpkins and then we'll probably do the melons because the melons really haven't grown that much and then we'll do butternut squash and then yellow squash because as you see the yellow squash will get nice and full but they're really not going to spread that much so if we put them next to the corn 
it might give the front row of the corn a little bit more room to breathe. So that brings me now to the corn, which I am just blown away by. So here is our corn. And it is just blossoming so nicely. It is crazy. And you can see a lot of the corn is starting to get those hairs. And I was a little worried about the corn in the beginning because when they start growing, like they were getting a little like top heavy. So me and Dave had to keep continuously like packing on like the dirt to keep them nice and um, sturdy um, because they were just kind of like falling over. Like the weight was getting too much. But over time, as they start started to grow more they produce these like little shoots at the bottom can you see them right here on like a few of them which which that one didn't really that one came right out of the ground huh huh interesting but what these shoots did was help stabilize it they would like branch out and really like almost like sink them into the ground to help support them as they grew um, because the corn gets really heavy. Um, but that's my question. I wonder how much corn we're going to get. Because that one has four spots where this, that hair is growing. So I'm curious if I'm going to get four ears of corn out of that one. It'll be cool to see. But I am just like so proud of this garden. The amount that it's grown is just amazing. And all everything's starting to grow. The melon's really taken off. I couldn't be any happier. Now if the deer would just leave us alone we would be in top knob shape. So that's our second garden and actually I want to show you real quick um, our old compost pile that we have. We actually moved it over, um, started growing something and we weren't 100% sure what it was growing um, but the more we let it grow we soon realized that it was growing something that we never planted nor did we get rid of because if we don't use it we usually give it right to the chickens but in this old compost pile what we thought was yellow squash growing because of like the yellow flowers and just the way that it was growing, it was actually growing pumpkins, which is so cool. So we got that big guy over there. And we got this guy and this one. There's a couple more growing in there, but we also, which is kind of strange, are getting a different kind of pumpkin. I believe it's like a sweet pumpkin. And a couple more are growing over here. So yes, yeah, so this is really cool that this is all growing because after we're done with our pumpkins, usually like I'll get them all ready, I'll cut them up and I freeze them so during the year I can make different desserts and whatnot with them and all the seeds usually go right to the chickens. So unless by like some crazy circumstance like a bird came down and took a seed and dropped it, I don't know how these pumpkins got here unless we are that crazy and we actually did throw them in the compost pile. But I don't remember. I don't think we would have done that. But anyway, it's a nice little surprise. It's a nice little surprise pumpkin patch we got going on. We didn't expect it to happen but hey we'll take it it is pretty cool we won't have to buy any pumpkins this year between the pumpkins we have growing in the garden and these bad boys we won't have to want to buy any we actually have another one right in here that's growing hopefully they turn a nice like orangey color but i guess we'll have to just see what happens so there you go guys, there's a quick tour of our, um, our second garden that we did this year and a quick tour of our surprise pumpkin patch, which is really cool. Um, but I'm going to go ahead inside. It is getting really dark skies out here and I can start feeling some raindrops. 
Um, so I will catch up with you guys later. Um, don't forget to like my video, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget that we are now on Instagram so you can find me there at Purgatory Farms. Have a great day. Bye.